a lot flatter water today than we saw the previous couple of days. So we possibly won't see quite as much hobby horsing, but uh, certainly got to be on your toes and keep your eyes out of the boat. Concord Pacific racing out of Canada. Another team that needs to get a win. That doesn't look healthy. No, not with a minute to go. The Germans there, they're going to have to spin the boat back up closer to the wind there to actually get the boat to level off. And they will be absolutely late for the start, the German teams. Team, if they can't get exhilarated. Canada really, really early at the left hand end there. They will possibly be over the start line early here. It's on race seven, Group B, and the race to the final series is on. First tax, absolutely critical for positioning. Dutch will probably roll out earlier because the Australians will have boundary protection as the Dutch cave and roll, so the Australians there will have boundary protection, but as soon as they sail out of the boundary, they will be the giveaway yacht. Local team from Barcelona leading the charge out to that right-hand side of the course, sailing the boat really well here. What's uh, really noticeable in this flat of water is um, how the manoeuvres look so much more in control from the whole fleet. I totally agree with uh, Pete's call there. Absolutely ideal conditions for the AC40s here. Nice flat water compared to yesterday. Still a few little lumps, but nothing like we saw a couple of days ago. Great comeback by the German team. They've got a lovely puff of breeze on that side. And are right back in the game here. And Team Australia, Sail Team Barcelona in positions one and two. Both those teams need these positions to pretty much stay where they are if they want to get even closer to confirming themselves in the top three and tomorrow's final series. There's the green. So you can see the green over the top of the flags. That means they are still in the final series. Red, you're out of contention at this point. Australians there, surely just tacking on that left-hand boundary. So still in control of this race, but very, very shifty breeze coming down and that left-hand side of the racetrack for pressure and angle. So interesting to see how it pans out from here. We've got... Need to be over speed and low on this tack a lot. Yeah, I think we might have... The ones from left, from leeward out to right. Australia are doing a pretty nice job, really comfortable. So what's happening now, This um, that rain cloud's moved off to the left. On the back of the cloud, there's a big blue spot developing above us. And I think they're heading the Australians right to the heart of the blue spot. It's a... Uh, um, the Spanish who are right behind them, so a bit of local knowledge from the Spanish, but that'll set them up when they get to the sleigh line to come across and uh, on starboard to this top mark for the second time. And to Team Australia, beautiful tack there in flatter water conditions, so they'll be trying to get to that left hand turn they're almost on lay line there if they get a little wind from there they won't be far off laying that left turn so Spanish also trying to get up the ladder rung as far as they can to minimize the maneuvers so just an eye there you go green is good you're above the cut line red is bad you're below the cut line we already know that the Swedish challenge powered by Artemis are a lock for tomorrow's final series. Who the other two will be might have been sorted by the end of this race. Currently, Australia, if they continue on here, get the full 10 points, which it looks like they will, will go to 42. That will lock them in. And do Team Australia. From start to finish at each gate, they have done it and done it well. And they are moving forward in the Unicredit Youth America's Cup. The final series is upon them. Let's go back, everyone.